Okay, so what we need to do now is, um, so I've removed all the bolts, right? So let me explain what's happened. So I've removed all the bolts. Uh, there was three up here. Well, this, this was never included because the casing was gone. There's one and there was two and there wasn't actually a bolt in this last one. But here's my issue, right? I need to pull this out and just slide it off and then take this off and do the same thing and replace it. Easy, not quite. Basically, what's happened is, the way it's obviously all put together, this bar, like if I, it's all loose, but I can't. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. Cool. So we're gonna get the uh, little ratchet here with the correct bit, go underneath and get rid of all six of those bottom bolts. Or five, I think it was. Yeah, five, okay. Okay. And simple as that, will it focus? How do you do that thing? What? Oh. Let me just use this. Yeah, so that's one bolt right there. It's pretty small. Need to get out of the other five. Oh, Bro, would you mean? You saw it, it's cool. Um, focus is taking man for an idiot, you know. But yeah, stick out the other five, and then hopefully the engine will move. Okay, cool. So. Just tried this angle right here. Oh no, I messed it up. No, I didn't. Come on. Okay, cool, great. So you can see all the screws, all the bolts. And now I'm just gonna show you me taking out one. You guys can see what's going on. Cool. And that's another one out. Easy, easy. Cool, and that's the final one. So let's see if the engine will move now, and then hopefully it does. If not, we're gonna move that top bolt, and then it will move, I think. Okay, so as I assumed, the bike's still not going anywhere because of that one bolt. So what I'm gonna have to do is use one of these. Oh, it's quite loose. The bolt's actually quite loose in there already. I just figured out. So it should be like, like a second to take out, shift the engine over a bit, pull that starter motor out, fit the new one, put it back into place and we should be good to go. This lighting's crazy. I apologize for the, for the poor lighting. It's not, it's not correct, but who cares? The top bolt is actually up here, all right? I can't really reach that with this thing because of the angle is that is really, is really stupid. Like you can't twist it, right? Because this is in the way. So I've decided to go for these two bolts instead. Oh, I bet these two, right? So I've pulled one out just now. There's another one here. And it basically is in the same place as this. So I should be able to, in theory, move the engine back uh, by taking these two bolts out. So we'll see what happens. Okay, it's the moment of truth now. The engine's been shifted all the way. Look, look at all that space, this will come easily out. Bam, finally, get rid of that. And this should also come pretty easily out the other way. Perfect, ah, oh, it took long enough, but I'm guess because we finally got it out, like, it took way too long. Wow, great, so now, I'm gonna install the new one first and then we're gonna plug it all back in. It should be pretty easy to do that. So, and this final one right here. Cool, perfect. And now that's all back together, nice and easy. And then we'll move on to putting the cog back on. And then I also have to put a big uh, bolt in here. And luckily, you know, I bought one. 
for being cute because I had to draw through the other one as well. I had to draw through a lot of things to do this. So it's fine that. Okay, got it right here. The focus, yeah. You know what it is. It's got oil wash on it as well. And then we just put it in. Just screw that down. I'm thinking what I might do is, because this is like, even though it's the, oh, whoops. Even though this is the same length, pretty much as the original screw, I'm thinking of getting a shorter one so I don't have to tighten it as far down. Because I don't think it's needed, it only needs to go into here. And that's that's what controls the movement. So if I get like maybe like a half a length of this, a screw, it'll probably go up to like there. Oh, why is the focus doing me like this? You, you get the point anyway, hold on. Yeah, cool. Probably get one like half the length of this and it should just be able to go straight in and then we should have no problems. And here we are, B and Q. So we're just gonna pull up right quick, get the screw we need, return the old ones, and we should be good to go. Okay, cool, so we've got what we needed right here. Just gonna go pay for these right quick and then get back and that's pretty much it man cool all tightened up this is going great <laughs> okay, so recording on the phone now because yeah, the camera died. But put a screw in here, done, tightened up, tightened up, and then the final one it is there, is also tightened up. So now I'm gonna put the face of it back on with the actual string, then we're gonna tighten everything all back up, the mounts, and then pull it and see what happens. Okay, cool. So now putting the face back on, already hit one screw in there. I have to put the other one in here. Cool. Okay, so it's all done, it's all fitted, everything's back together, nice and tight. So now is like the uh, the time to, you know, to uh, test it out, see if it works. Here is the moment of truth. Uh, this is not delayed anymore. So first we have to turn this fuel supply on. Oh, all right, that's not, that's not turning, great. Accidentally gonna snap the fuel. <laughs> Give it a few pumps of this to get the gas rolling through, and then start it up. Should have started by now, I don't ah uh, ah uh, this is so annoying. Uh let me think. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna have to work out why that fuel line's unplugged, where that's supposed to go, why the pull start is so stiff, it's not meant to be that stiff. And yeah, we're gonna try and work these things out and then hopefully in the next video. We'll have it working or maybe in this video it depends how i'm feeling if i want to upload this or if i want to carry on like another day and i put it all into one video and hopefully get it started uh we'll see how it turns out but for now that's pretty much it <laughs>